genomic blueprint of planet can start tomorrow. Modern genomic technology and biodiversity can double all amount of information about oceans which accumulated in the past 3,000 years. My name is Leonid Maros. I'm professor of neuroscience, genetic biology and chemistry, uh, University of Florida. And we are going to start a voyage around the world. It may take about 18 months. And goal is to sequence DNA for about 80, 70 to 80 percent of species which represent greatest diversity ever existed in our planet before. In the past, whole history of biology, people go to the sea, grab samples, fix them, usually destroy them. It took weeks and years to send it back, analyzed, and uh, in this process, a lot of samples were destroyed and virtually most of the molecular information was lost. We are going to do for the first time in real time. We are going to take intact specimen, not destroy them, in many cases not kill them. We will bring whole sequence lab directly on the board of the ship within two and a half hours. We send this data through satellites to supercomputer in Florida, which has named Supergator, and we get results back in a couple of hours. We just returned for the first trip ever. When we put genomic sequencing on the boat, we sequenced uh, some organisms which were never were sequenced before. And most importantly, we proved that advanced engineering, sequencing, and biology and biodiversity can really work together. You can go to any location or beautiful locations, and if you perform, I would say, Star Trek science, and you can get data right away. I'm shocked myself that it's possible. Data were amazing. We perform in one week 15 sequencing runs. We capture some unique creatures which many people have never seen before, many biologists never seen before. But most importantly, we prove, we get proof of concept that that modern genomic technology operations is possible in any remote locations. And it's possible to do through satellites data analysis in real time. So whole sites cycle must be completed in one and a half days. From sampling to extraction of the genomic RNA, genomic DNA or RNA, to sequencing. All right. So a few minutes ago, we get this plankton samples. Let's see what we get. Every time when I look at this, I'm surprised. I'm surprised by diversity of life. I would say in this dish, so my conservative estimate would be about 400 species. You cannot really bring them in the lab. You cannot keep them alive for more than, I would say, a couple of hours. You probably know that 50% of uh, drugs came from natural products today, one way or another. So thinking about enormous resources just right here in the ocean, we do have enormously wonderful solution, diversity of the solutions, and we're losing species approximately one species every six hours. So we have new compounds, we have unique biological solutions, we have unique molecular design, unique genomic design, and we're losing it. So it's really a heritage, not for us, not only for our planet, for the universe. So for these three particular reasons, we need to bring the genomic to the sea.